The water came up faster than I've ever seen it come up. Within about five hours, everything was covered. It was a lake. It was pretty devastating. I lost everything. I had five and a half feet of water in my house. It's been, it's been really sad for all me and all my neighbors, the whole community. It did not become real to me until I drove up this morning and eight days of hope had started the demolition of my house and everything was piled out on the road. That's when I realized this was real. River Bend is an incorporated municipality. You can see the devastation that has taken place and uh, many people are hurting. They're clearly displaced from being able to live in their homes. It's uh, unbelievable the amount of support that the community has received from Eight Days of Hope and uh, they have provided uh, real relief to the citizens and have uh, helped them in a time of great distress. It was a godsend for me because I was here trying to figure out what to do, not knowing what to do, and never been through this before. It's, it's just a tough time. You look around this neighborhood, and a lot of these houses were shaped in mind, and getting people to do the work has been terrible for some folks. You go down the road, and you see just the amount of devastation. It's, it's not just one street, it's every street. And when neighbors tries to help each other and, and, and bring the community up, there's only so much they can do. With Eight Days of Hope coming in, it gives those families hope where mom and dad can get back to work and the kids can get back to school. And, and that's all we have right now is hope. You know, and with God's strength, we're going to get there. And Eight Days of Hope shows that we're going to make it and we're going to be okay. I'm so blessed to have you here because I don't know what I would do if I didn't have all this help to help get this house demoed and get all the drywall and insulation out and the, all the walls that had to go down to the studs. So um, I don't know what I'd do without you here and I'm so thankful you're here. Walter and I are in our 70s and we could not have done this by ourselves. I don't know what we would have done. I just thank the Lord every day since last Saturday that they were coming and they were helping us. There's a working bunch of people, I can tell you that, hard workers. The big job was cleaning out under the house, the vent work, duct work, and the insulation under the house. And they cut the uh, wall boarding out and pull the insulation out, and now in the process of drying it out, then they'll come back and spray. They cleaned up the yard also. They did us a total package deal that they just did everything and just take so much pressure off the homeowner that it's unimaginable. Just can't say how much I appreciate it. There's hope alive. There's people with good hearts and they've been working for hours non-stop, non-complaint and that's all them, that's all God. That's God using them. A Days of Hope is amazing. Y'all have been so helpful and so kind and uh, you just come and you work so hard. There, there are no words. There are no words. They need as many volunteers as they can. They pray with you when they get here. They pray with you when they leave at the end of the day. And without that, I don't think we would have survived. I would say I've seen a lot of people posting things on Facebook saying, I wish I could do something, I wish I could do something. Call Eight Days of Hope and give people hope just the way they're giving us hope.